Hello fellow geeks, welcome to the next episode of Make It or Break It. Today we need to do some upgrades to our T430s, not one, but two. And first of all we need to get rid of a lot of stuff that came with the latest new. Not on packaging video, because uh, <laughs> everything is unpacked already. I just need to push this away a bunch of wires. That's computer fan. Okay, we'll need this. Two caddies, not needed right now. Eternally scrolling mouse. Did ever someone use it? I bought it just to check if this thing really works. Okay, now what we have? We have the best CPU for T430. Never used this before. Usually I go with 30 watt, 35 watt CPUs, but this one is 45 watt, 3.9 gigahertz. Uh, practically out of regular cooling specs, but we will do it anyways. <laughs> eh, we won't use this one. We won't use this one. <laughs> okay. Now, the Warig. The Warig is this T430, my latest purchase. As you see, I used slabs to cover some bad elements at the case, and <laughs> now it looks <laughs> really awesome. Uh, okay, let's do it little by little.
Oh, this make it or break it. May end it up with a disaster. side and let's do the next upgrade part which is strictly make it not break it my second t430 we need to get rid of this thing and put this inside instead.
Yep, hard drive works. Wait, 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 wait. Next thing to do is to test temperatures on our war rig, because it's a significant upgrade from 32 to 45 uh, watt CPU. Okay, now testing. The problem came from where I didn't expect. Of course, I have 65 watt adapter. And of course, it knows that this CPU is 45 watts. And thus, it locks it to 1.2 GHz. Okay, temperatures are fine. Everything works fine. But 1.2 GHz. Okay, I found a 90 watt adapter in my shed. And as you can see, it goes only up to 2.8 GHz, which is significantly lower than 30 wife versions of these CPUs. So if you get an opportunity to upgrade your T430, then take 30 watt 4 core CPUs. Don't take 45 watts because you're taking a CPU that has a better performance on a paper and in the reality it simply drops to 2.8 gigahertz and does not reach its designed 3.9 nice all right this concludes us our make it or break it thanks everyone and see you later bye